Hi, this is a real quick overview of a really great tool to use for video conferencing with your students. And it's Google Meet, which is built in your Google Suite if you're an education account or a business enterprise. So how do you get to Google Meet is when you click on your upper right control panel, it's the icon with the green and the video camera. So when I click on that, you get to the screen where you can start a meeting and have 100 people join. So that was well sized for any class and even a whole grade level or your whole faculty. You'll see here I even have a scheduled event. So what's great about Google Meet is in your Google Calendar, I can schedule a appointment. So let's say this period too. And then what I do is I click on more options. And under more options, I can add Google Meet. So and then let's say this is not an all day event. So let's say I'm trying to mimic my class and see my class meets at a 1030 and I can then add my students and then by doing so in that calendar appointment now when people go to Google Meet they have all their scheduled classes so I can join that one or I can start a new meeting so for this case I'm going to start a new meeting and when I do this it's going to create for me a unique web address and even a phone number where people can phone in but most people will use the web address so here in the middle right side I can copy this and put this in my classroom documents. I can also um, watch when I click join, and I'll talk about present in a moment. When I click join, I can actually, at this point, also just start to manually invite people. Whenever you want to invite more people, you click in the upper right corner, and you can add more people to this, this chat, okay? This upper, the U URL here in the top is actually unique to your thing, so I can actually email that out. So once somebody joins, they'll show up on your right control panel here. And I have two people joined. In this case, this second person is a fake person sitting next to me. Now, when they join, um, I have them muted right now, so I can mute them. Once I mute them, only they can unmute themselves. So you can mute or quiet um, any of the users. Um, this is particularly useful if you're using this in a class setting, but only they can unlock it if you do turn their volume off. There's a chat button here so that you can do chat as people are talking. So those are your... Um, invite features and reminder again this the url on top is unique and you can send that out at any time let's take a moment to look at our own video options you see down here we have the ability to mute our own microphone and to mute our own video or to leave the call or conference captions this is a really cool feature when you turn this on if you ask your kids to turn it on this will allow um, auto captions this is a great accommodation one of the greatest features is actually the present mode so when i click the present mode this will now allow me to push my screen out so everybody can see it so Usually I'll use entire screen. Students can do this as well if you're having them share a presentation. So if I click your entire screen, it's gonna confirm. I confirm by touching the screen, click share, and now it's being shared. So when I do this, the minute I go to my slides, I'm here, a little reminder is telling me that my screen is being shared. So I'm, um, the, when I'm here doing my slide deck in presentation mode as watch people are watching, when I go back to the meet, you'll see that um, I can't see when I'm presenting. So I know they can see my screen, but I can't see them while I'm doing this. So if I'm done sharing, I can click the stop button here on the bottom middle, or I can click stop presenting. So that is meetings in a nutshell.